Hello and welcome. I don't know what I'm doing. Pasties. Let's talk about them. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how to apply pasties and latex for a body paint stream. There are many different ways that people like to go about covering their chest for body paint. Some people paint with a bandeau on, which is totally fine, and then they end stream and they continue the painting afterwards. Others like to do a combination of a pasty slash liquid latex to fully cover their chest and then paint over that. And others use these artist grade pasties that are quite large, about like this big, that cover the entire breast and no latex is needed. I have found that the pasties that work the best for me are these petal flower shaped that I get from Amazon. They are made of like fabric, they're kind of like band-aids. So you do need to put um, about three layers of latex over this to make sure that the paint doesn't seep into that texture and also so that it stays on a lot easier. I did start off my body painting journey with silicone pasties. I don't use these anymore. These have been used a little bit so they're not as sticky. I will be using these for demonstration purposes because I don't want to waste my good pasties. So just pretend that this is this. Okay, cool. So the first thing you want to do is put your pasty on. Do it a little more gentler than that. You'll notice that there is a little circle where the nipple obviously is going to go in these pasties. That circle is right here and it does not have any adhesive on it. So it's a lot nicer, gentler on your skin. And then all around that is the adhesive. The only reason that I have switched from these to these is because the silicone ones are a bit thicker. So you could definitely tell that there was something there under the paint. And I wanted a more seamless and smooth transition. So that's why I started using these. By the way, this is my homemade dress form made out of duct tape and various other items. I used this to pattern my cosplays and she looks pretty well. So now that we've got the pasties on, I'm gonna show you how I do the latex portion. So I use this latex, it's called Monster Liquid Latex, and of course I get it from Amazon. You can probably find it in any Halloween store as well. It is used a lot to make scars, um, but again, you can use it to cover your pasties and you can use it to adhere things to your body. It's kind of like a glue type substance. It actually reminds me a lot of Elmer's glue, except really, really sticky, like stringy and it dries really fast. You will need liquid latex and a couple of disposable sponges. You wanna use disposable sponges because this stuff is going to dry and gloop all over these babies. So you don't wanna use a brush that you care about use disposable sponges. So what I'm gonna do is pour just a little bit on here and this, I'm sure other people have different techniques. This is very messy. I tend to get it all over my legs whenever I'm pouring latex onto a sponge because I'm doing it right over my legs. Put a towel down on your legs if you just wanna be more cleanly about it. But try to just carefully pour just a little bit of liquid latex and it's gonna drip down your hand, it happens. And then you're just going to, in a circular motion, cover around the edges of the paste. So you'll want to cover around the edges and then you'll also want to make sure you fill in the whole pasty as well because it is going to have that band-aid texture and you just want a nice, smooth, thing over that so that it doesn't uh, show through your paint. I'm gonna leave that pasty alone just so that I can show you guys kind of the difference between painting over one that has latex and painting over one that does not. It might not actually give me the effect I'm looking for since this is going onto a duct tape torso. So it's probably not gonna be smooth no matter what, but we'll try it out, we'll see if it works. So in between layers of liquid latex, make sure you close this guy up because the air getting in there is going to solidify all of that liquid latex and you don't want that. In between layers of liquid latex, you can blow dry to make it just kind of speed up the process of drying. Now 
now I have to redo my bun because I thought it would be funny to do that. All right, pro tip, in between liquid latex layers, you're gonna wanna get some translucent powder and a little powder puff, and you're gonna wanna powder that shit because if you don't do that, it will be shiny around the areas where you place liquid latex. And then when you go to put your paint on top, there will just be a weird oval shape of shine around your boobalas. And you don't want that. You want it to be seamless. You want it to look like there's nothing there, you know? So we're gonna put a little bit of that powder in the lid. We're gonna get it on the powder puff and we are going to powder all over. That gets rid of the shine and that also kind of helps with the drying. Now we're gonna do that two more times. I can use this sponge again, except I'm not gonna use the same side that I did use for the first layer because now there's little gloopy balls on there and that is going to transfer to the boob. And you don't want that because then there's gonna be little balls underneath your paint and that's a no-go. So we're gonna flip the sponge to the clean side and we're gonna use that. If you just wanna play it safe and use a whole new sponge, go for it. But I like to be a bit more sustainable with everything that I use and I try to use it as much as I can before I throw it away. So again, we're gonna pour it onto the sponge. We're going to drip it everywhere and circular motions. All right, layer two is on. I'm closing this up again. I'm going to throw this sponge out because it is now used all the way up. Another layer of powder. This is our second layer. Now with a clean sponge, I'm going in with my third and final layer of the liquid latex. A little pro tip. If this gets a little messy, like it starts to like drip, you know, because you get messy when you pour it, I like to take the clean side of my second sponge and just kind of go around the lip of the bottle just to clean it up so that it's not super gloopy and it doesn't become really difficult to open. And then you'll notice there's some nasty gloopy bits on the inside there. You can just take those right out. They have dried, they are no longer useful. And there you have it. By the way, if you've never worked with this stuff, it's kind of smelly. So just be warned, it's a little bit stanky. One last layer of powder. Okay. Now we are done with the liquid latex and pasty application. This process usually takes me about 30 minutes to do. You also want to make sure that you're covered from about here to here with paint and you want to make sure that paint is opaque and not rubbing off so i highly recommend getting a big brush something about this size um, for this part because you are trying to cover a big portion of your body here and you don't want to like take your time and do it with like a little tiny brush because then you'll see more strokes and it might not be as opaque save you some trouble, get you a big brush. I like to use water activated paints. These are Mayron Paradise paints. And then I get myself a little spray bottle filled with water. That failed. There we go. I spray the cake with water to activate it, get it all loaded up on my brush, and I make sure I cover that entire area before I ever get on camera. I don't want to waste too much paint because it gets pretty expensive to continuously buy new cakes. So let's just do like the top portion here. All right, so I just painted the top portion of the latex covered pasty. And now I'm going to do the same thing to the non latex covered pasty. I will say that when I was painting the non latex covered pasty, as I was brush stroking down, the pasty did start to kind of like flap up a little bit. So that's like a huge plus for putting latex over the pasty is that that pasty is going nowhere. 
and there will be trolls that will come into your chat and ask, Woohoo, is it your pasty gonna fall off? Not if you put it on correctly. Not if you cover it with liquid latex. But anyway, I will show you an up close and personal shot. So this is the one that has the latex on it. You can still see like a little rim around here. That's because it's the thicker silicone pasty. That doesn't happen with the paper ones, with the more like band-aid type of pasties. But if I come over to this one, you can definitely see there is nothing that is really transitioning the pasty to the skin, or I should say just the, you know, duct tape torso that I have here. So you can definitely see that there is a very noticeable line right there. And this thing is kind of peeling off a little bit. And that's it. If you guys have any questions for me on the types of paints that I use, the techniques that I use, if there was anything on this process that kind of made you scratch your head, just comment down below. Let me know what you think. Give this video a like and I will be sure to upload more tutorials, tips and tricks, and body paint videos for you all if that is what you're interested in. Thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you follow me on Twitch and watch my body paint streams and I will answer any questions you have there as well. Bye! By the way, that might have looked painful, but if you're standing underneath a warm shower, this is not painful to peel off, so don't let that scare you.